welcome back students i am shruti your english teacher in the last class we discussed a story story title making a mango pickle making a mango pickle is a story about the appu and the duga they are the children of hari har and the sarvojaya duga has been wandering all the day out and uh, when she came back with uh, some mango slices then she shared that mango slices with his brother okay students let's start what happened to the next part of the story are you ready okay that's more calling you go and see what's up finish it's up over the no wait you have got grains of salt all over your mouth wipe them away first duga heard her mother call out yet again but there was no way she could reply for her mouth was cold full she began furiously during the slices of pickle mango when she found that she still had many left she hid behind the trunk of the jackfruit tree and started to gobble up the rust appu stood beside her frantically swallowing his shove for there was no time to chew as he ate she smiled a guilty smile at his sister you little monkey she said to her brother why don't you wipe your face clean there is salt all over your face even now then putting on a most innocent expression she entered the house what is it ma she asked and what had you gone a wondering may i know asked sabosheya and where is that monkey gone i'm hungry ma announced appu appearing suddenly now hold on let me take a breath oh duga go and check on the calf will you it's been long away a little later when she sat down in the veranda in front of the kitchen to cut up a cucumber for children appu slop down next to her ma do take some more of that white stuff out of the cucumber it sticks in my mouth he said duga spread out her palm to get her shell and asked a little hesitantly isn't the elmore of the rice fry ma oh it's impossible all those tart mangoes have set my teeth on it began appu he stopped abruptly when he saw duga frowning and winking at him Where did you get mangoes from? asked his mother. Appu was afraid to tell the truth. He looked questioningly at his sister, wondering what to reply. Sabosia turned to her daughter and demanded, "So, you did gone out again?" 
दुगा पेल्स आफ हिम आई वॉज जस्ट द बाय द जैक फूड थ्री एंड देन जस्ट आज यू कॉल फॉर्चुनेटली द कॉन्वर्सेशन वॉज कट शॉर्ट बाय द एंट्री ऑफ द मिल्क वुमन शोनो शी हैड कम टू मिल्क द खाओ गो कैश द कॉफ सर साहब वजिया टू हर डॉटर Apu follow his sister out to watch the cow being milked. As soon as he stepped into the outer courtyard, Duga lanced him a smart blow on his back. "You wretch, monkey!" she made faces at him and mimicked him. "All those stats mangoes have." set my teeth on it dumpo no brains at all what happened our story is at the time her mother sabojia came back to the girl mother sabojia calls duga like this oh duga oh duga duga heard her mother call but she can't reply that because her mouth was quite full duga heard her mother call again that time appu and duga swallowed mango slices some mango slices they hide a trunk then they wipes their mouth then duga entered her house after the conversation after appu duga and sabojia the conversation sabojia sat down in the veranda in front of the kitchen to cut a cucumber for children suddenly appu tell the truth what was the truth can you guess yes here is the truth oh it's impossible all those that mangoes have set my teeth on edge sabojia realized that duga has been wandering all the day from the words of appu then ask mother where did you get the mangoes duga appu was afraid to tell the truth sabojia turned to duga then she shouted fortunately that conversation was stopped that time a milk woman entered the house then sabojia asked duga to catch that cow for milk this is our story do you like this story yes this is our story the next i will be give you some homework Okay are you ready Okay here is the homework Your first homework pick up the sentence which tell that Duga is pretty Your second homework you stand by the back door and keep a look out Why does Apu say so that is all for today's class we can see in the next class thank you